What's up guys? Welcome back to Surveying with Robert's Tuesday Tip. So, uh, I know it's been a minute. I apologize. Oh, got too many irons in the fire. I'm telling you, try to get these videos done and they're always a challenge. So today, what I want to do is I want to show you how to use um, GeoLock with Survey Pro. I've sold some guys in um, Mobile, Alabama, a bunch of robots. They all run Survey Pro and i promised them i'd put this video together for them so this is uh a video for those guys and for you guys right because i know there's a bunch of you out there that like using the survey pro and i want to show you how to make this trimble robot work with it so first things first Okay, so one of the things we need to do is we need to jump in. Let's go into Manage Instruments and let's look at the settings. So if we go in and we look at the instrument settings, you can see we're connected. Uh, DR, Search, Collimation, Precision. You can see you can go through these different tabs at the top. Uh, one of the things that we want to look at is um, right here, where our search pattern. We're going to be using GeoLock, so I really don't want, especially I'm running this thing in a passive mode, so we really don't want this thing sweeping real wide. Because if it's sweeping real wide, it has a tendency to pick up things other than what you want it to pick up, right? Instead of the prism, it's grabbing a Chevrolet taillight. Because those robots like Chevrolet taillights unless you're using a multi-track active tracking system on it, right? So let's take this down to about 15 degrees. Vertical, I don't mind going 15. Let's try using that. Now, this is something that you probably should change as the day goes, right? Depending on the situation you're in. Always be aware of where that, how that robot's sweeping horizontal and vertically. Sometimes you may want to change the vertical grader if you're going up and down hills and stuff like that. So, um, so we're good there. So um, what we're gonna do, first thing I need to do is get my setup and back sight real quick. Um, so let's run over by the gun and get that real fast. Okay, so I'm going to be using um, the navigation page to set this up. So I'm going to go into navigation, which let me back up. My navigation is under stakeout. So uh, I was told by one of the developers at um, Spectra that this navigation page was put here because of all the complaining I did. So just FYI. So if I go to navigation, I go to waypoint. I'm gonna call this point number one. I'm just gonna call it CP. Okay, so I stored number one. So what it did is it took the GPS position from the data collector and stored that point. So let's go to, um, let's go to, um, and do number two real quick for our backside. Okay, we got our, our setup point. Now let's get our backside point. I'm gonna store a waypoint, number two. There's number two. So let's get out of there. Let's go into survey and um, go to the main screen. We're gonna do station setup. Point number one, HI, I'm just gonna call it five foot. Uh, next. We're going to um, set the back sight to a point, uh, not a new point. We're going to do a uh, back sight point. This is going to be number two. We're going to set our prism. We're going to manage smart targets. We'll go to tremble. I'm going to edit that. I'm going to change this height to 6.5. And I'm just going to make this a tremble 360 prism. Enter. Okay, uh, we're gonna make that one active. That's our prism. Let's get out of here, 6.5, blah, blah, blah. We will, uh, we're gonna make sure that the target is turned towards us and locked on. So what we're going to do is we will do a search. And of course it's trying to search for ID one because I screwed that up. Man to smart targets. Edit. No, I do not want to use active. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to search again. There we go. Now it's searching. 
Okay, it's locked on us. Let's see. No lock. Didn't lock on my vest. That's a plus. Uh, okay, so all that is good. So we'll get out of there. I will go to um, measure and set. Take shot. Uh, horizontal distance error, vertical distance. Wow, vertical is way out, isn't it? That's, uh, that's using the GPS on the data collector, by the way, just so you guys know, right? Finish. So what I may do, uh, traverse side shot in this situation, because I, I've got a something that resembles state plane coordinates, right? So I'm gonna may store number three, um, and I may call number three, maybe call it CP backside, right? So uh, side shot, CP backside. I'll shoot it that way. It's stored, and um, um, I've got a set. I can use that as my setup and backside now. So I, it would be good. So if I moved it uh, and I took a backside over here, I'd be good, right? Okay. Let's move on. So uh, I noticed that um, if you look up at the upper, the top part of the screen, if you look at the little, there's a question mark, then there's a screen little box with a, like a play button on it. Okay, what that is, that is your geo lock. So if we go into there and I go to settings and I look, I've got it set up for an internal GPS, which is a GPS in the data collector. You can see I've got a beep when target locked is questionable. Um, and I've got enable geolock. Do not enable the 3D because just like we saw with the setup and backside I did, I was 30 foot off on vertical. So what can happen is when you hit search, what could happen to you is the thing will turn and it may like, it, the vertical's off, it, it may be looking up in a tree for you and never find you. So don't use that. Uh, I don't like the auto uh, geolock search either um, because I don't want it I want it to search when I want it to search, right? So um, let's look at our settings real quick. I'm on COM port 20 GNSS. If we look, you'll see a COM port with GNSS on it. Uh, so I'm using the internal. It's using COM port GNSS. Baud rate is at 9600. Um, if I hit default, it's basically going to default back to here. You want to make sure that you're set on serial and not on Bluetooth. This is designed so you could actually use, and it's it's Survey Pro's way of doing integrated surveying like uh, Trimble does. So I can hook up to an R10 or something else in here and I could use an R10 on top of this receiver and my searches would actually be better. So anyways, there's your setting. COM port 20 in my case, make sure it says GNSS and um, baud rate's 9600, should be good, okay? So what does that do for us? Okay, so if I go and look at that settings and I go to my sky plot, you're gonna see that I'm picking up GPS from the, um, the GPS in the data collector. Keep in mind, that can be anywhere from three to 15 foot off horizontally and it's one and a half times for your vertical, right? So if you are not in a defined coordinate system like I am, you wanna keep the gun in a tracking mode and walk. As you walk, it resects back to the gun, okay? So basically what it's doing is it's putting a latitude and longitude on that gun. If you don't already have one, you're not in state plane coordinates, you're on 5,000, 5,000, or 10,000, 10,000, you want to make sure that as you walk, you're in a tracking mode. Tracking mode means that it's shooting you all the time. It doesn't mean it's following you. Tracking means you're always measuring a distance. Make sure you're measuring a distance. You're in tracking mode. The gun uses the distance and the angle to triangulate a position back to the gun, put a latitude and longitude on it, so that when you hit search, it uses that latitude and longitude to calculate an angle for the gun to turn to find you. It doesn't mean in tracking that, or with the geolock, that it's going to let the, the robot follow you. The, the gun uses angles. When you hit search, calculates an angle to turn, locks onto you, and we're fixing to do that. Okay, so um, so we want to go and look at the remote on here and see where it's at. So it's a little icon on the um, on the screen that shows the prism and the gun. I'm gonna tap on that. That takes me into the remote settings. Okay, so we're uh, we're locked on. Everything's good. So now let's um, let's go get a couple of shots real quick. I'm gonna walk over here, and we're going to. Um, We'll see about taking a shot. We'll see how well the GPS works here in the trees and stuff. So, uh, okay. 
Woo. Okay, sun is right in my face. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Now I can see it again. Uh, but it's behind a limb. Whoops. Let's go over here somewhere. How about right here? This works good. Okay. So now the gun is looking over there where I was at. If it's not, I'm going to make sure that it does. So what I will do is go in and around this other way. Okay, so as you can see, I turned the gun 247 degrees, so it's turned to the left 270 and um, 247. So uh, left a little over 90 degrees, and uh, I'm going to use the geolock feature. So you see, we've got two geolock. We got two search buttons, right? We have uh, a search button, and then we have a geolock button. The geolock button is the one with the uh, little glass in it. You can see here on the screen that looks like it's got a little something or another in the center. I guess it's supposed to look like a GPS unit. I don't know what it is. But anyways, that's the one you want to hit. So when I hit that button, the gun is going to turn around. It's going to look at me. It's going to do a search. Hopefully it doesn't lock onto my camera. And it found me. So good. So now here's the big question. Has it locked onto me? Or is it locked onto my vest? What do you know? Uh, apparently it has locked on to the prism, which is what I need. Perfect. So it didn't lock onto my vest. That's sweet. Okay, so I can take shot, measuring. Um, I just call it ground shot because I don't know what else to call it. There we go, took a shot. So if I move again, let's walk over here real quick. We'll do one more. And uh, so it should be, yeah, it's lost me. So, I'll walk over here somewhere, and I want that robot to come to me. I'm ready to take a shot. Gun's not looking at me. Hit the button. Do the geo lock. It's going to turn over my way. It's going to lock. It's locked on. I'm going to check it again since I'm in passive mode. Just to make sure, there you go. It's not locked on my vest, it's locked onto the prism. That's good. So, there again, take a shot. And store that. Let's say I wanna walk over here again. So now the gun's gonna follow me, right? Because um, I'm out here in the wide open, but let me get over here to shady spot again. There again, if I hit the control on the uh, little arrow, on the keyboard and hold it down. Okay, so again, um, one of the things that I did like about Trimble was if I hit take shot, it would automatically do the geo lock. Um, maybe we talk to the guys at Survey Pro, see if we can get that to happen. So if I hit the button, geo lock. It's gonna turn my direction. It's gonna start searching for me. It's found me. Take shot, boom, okay, so that's the lock. Okay, so that's how it works. I don't know if you heard this thing chirp, but it's basically telling me my geolock is not that great. So, hear it chirping? It's because my GPS, I'm underneath the trees. It's one thing I will warn you about. If you're in the trees, this GPS isn't that great. Throw a GPS unit on top of this thing, get corrections from a network or something like that, and it would be better. So. Maybe we do that in the next video. I'll show you guys integrated with Survey Pro because I think it's pretty cool. Uh, love integrated. Um, okay, guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Tuesday tip. Sorry it's taking me so long to get another one back out. Um, thanks, Matt, for the vest. Um, Safetyapparel.us. So guys, check them out. Uh, this vest is actually pretty cool. I actually have batteries and all kinds of stuff in here for my cameras. So, um, guys, God bless. Thank you so much for watching. 
I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Like I said, give Matthew some love. Go check out his site. Check out one of these cool vests. Um, and as always, take care of yourself. Try to stay healthy with all this craziness going on. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, uh, whenever I get that done. Take care. Makes me feel like I got a frog in my pocket. Hear that?